Hello, YouTube land. Welcome back YouTube land. to our channel. Welcome to YouTube land. <laughs> this There's is... screens from us. Sorry. <laughs> That's good. This is Dare to Date, and we're talking do's and don'ts for your dating relationship. Do's and don'ts. Yep, it's true. And this week, we're talking about something that I personally have been seeing a lot lately, particularly because we work with teenagers, and this is so common among teens, but really just anybody. I think we did it too, probably. We're just, you know, yeah, it's hard to not, but that's why we're talking about it. So the do for this week is do spend intentional time with the person you're dating, right? So. How can you have a relationship with someone if you're never talking to them or you're never hanging out with them? And when you're talking, what are you talking about? Like, are you going deep with them? Are you asking them questions? Devin and I would look up, I mean, how many questions do you think we ask each other? At least like a thousand. Thousands of questions. For real, like no joke. Just look them up online, you got books, just random stuff, just yeah. asking questions that are like open-ended that get to know the person more. And for yeah. the first few months of a relationship, we did that like all the time. All the time, we would just spend time getting to know each other truly, our hopes and our dreams and our quirks and likes and dislikes and just really, truly getting to know each other and having that time together was so important and I would look forward to seeing him. You know, I had a crush on him. I, I really thought he was great and oh. he wanted to spend time with me too. And so intentional time is super important for him. So your don't this week is don't isolate yourself from the community for the love of all things holy. Please <laughs> just keep your friends. You worked so hard for them over the years. Just because you're dating someone doesn't mean you have to be with them every moment. It feels like it. But you still need to hang with your friends. You need to talk with them. You know, you guys can hang in groups or you, you know, you both can hang, keep in touch with your guy friends, your girlfriends. You know, your bros or your sisters. <laughs> Sounds weird. Your sisters. Sisters? What? Stay in touch with them. You know, it's really healthy to have that. You need your friends. You need them around. You want that community. Um, you don't want to just be isolated because eventually, you know, you can become, you know, you know, dependent on one another. In a not good way. In a not good way. You know, some kind of weird attachment, codependent yeah. thing. Um, who knows what could happen? But just keep your friends. You know, they're valuable. They're going to miss you. Um, I know it's tempting when you see them, you just want to be by that person's side every minute. But, you know, but take time to, you know, talk with your friends. Yeah. It's really simple, but it's really hard to do, actually. It is. When you have it's a crush on someone, hard. you're just like, magnet yourself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's so true. <laughs> that was pretty good. Pretty accurate. Alright guys, that's it for this week's Dare to Date episode. We hope you enjoyed it and found it helpful. Please be sure to give this video a thumbs up, you already thumbs know, up. and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Anything else? I think we just gave all the guys permission to be like, sorry, I'm gonna hang with the bros tonight. See you later. Yikes. We'll see how this one goes. <laughs> Bye!